The Busia governor, who has been on the ethics and anti-corruption radar for corruption allegations, arrived at the commission offices situated at the Integrity Center in the morning. It's here that he later spent over seven hours with the detectives. And when he emerged, Ojamong denied all the alleged graft allegations, terming them witch hunt. I know the position of governors, leadership, people envy. But some of us should be able to stand the test of the time, despite the allegations. So, man, we have had very fruitful discussions, very friendly. Ojamong was being investigated over irregular contract allocation, procurement of goods and property ownership, which, according to ESCC, could not be accounted for. And might be the properties I own. You know, some people imagine I'm the richest governor in the country now, which is very long, wrong. So they have looked at my accounts. I'm, I'm the poorest so far. Some of the laptops and other material, which were confiscated by the ESCC detectives during a raid in his county office and home, were returned to him. You know, they have, they have given me back all my electronic equipment. Save for one iPad, which one officer has it, but it's in Kisumu. In Machakos, area governor Dr. Alfred Motoa has written to the ESCC and requested for a lifestyle audit for all Machakos government staff to help identify their unexplained wealth. In the spirit of accountability, I request all senior staff of Machakos County Government, from the Deputy Governor, Ministers, Chief Officers, Director and Deputy Directors, to also voluntarily supply details of their assets, showing when and how they were acquired. They also need to give their permission for the relevant authorities to dig into their bank accounts and to study their MPESA transactions. Dr. Mutua subsequently has voluntarily provided his bank account details, record of assets and wealth for use by ESCC detectives as well as other relevant bodies as part of his campaign to clean up his leadership that is also battling massive graft allegations. In Garissa, County Assembly members are investigating an alleged cartel where money collected as tax has been diverted to a private bank account belonging to County Executive Committee for Livestock and Economic Pastoral, Hajir Mohamed Dahiye. How did you know that those two sub-counties collection have been done smoothly if you are not supervising? I was not aware, I was not supervised, and I was not party to any collection and any returns. Dahiye is alleged to have masterminded the printing of alternative revenue receipts, paid himself allowances in the names of non-existing casual staff, and unnecessary hiring of public vehicles at an exorbitant figures. Samson Kitavi, Channel One, News.